But we're going to start with the tropics because that's where things are starting to get a little bit busy now as we move into this first part of August. Still watching this cluster of showers and storms. It is now a tropical wave beginning to make its way out of Haiti and heading towards Cuba and the southern tip of Florida along with the Bahamas. Still fairly unorganized. We're not seeing a closed circle just yet. So we haven't had that defined load to develop. So that's why the National Hurricane Center is still monitoring this closely. Likely going to send the hurricane hunters to investigate this a little bit later on today. Day, but it has got an 80% chance of development now in the next seven days, 50% in the next couple days, as it will be heading likely for the west coast of Florida and the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That does look like the likely zone of development here over the coming days. And you can see with our spaghetti plots, they all take it pretty much in that direction. And then we are looking at the turn to the north that could take it towards the Carolina coast, bringing us a pretty good chance for some tropical moisture as we get into our Sunday and Monday. So we'll be watching that very closely as we get towards the second half of the weekend and into the first part of next week. But in the meantime, still got those hot and humid conditions out there today. A first alert weather day, 97, going to feel like 109 a little bit later on today. Now, temperatures do come down a little bit for the weekend. 93, feeling like 103 on Saturday. 90 with a high, feel like temperature of 100 for our Sunday. Next few hours, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the 80s and get into the low 90s by about 1 o'clock partly cloudy skies, rain chances fairly low, big area of high pressure in the upper levels is what's sending us this heat for today and what we had yesterday across the region. So upper 90s, rain chances look to remain low. Now heading into tomorrow, we're going to get the first chance for some rain. This is because of a front that's going to be pushing into the Carolinas, tapping into some of that Gulf of Mexico moisture. So a 60% chance for scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. Highs going to be in the low, the mid 90s. And then as we get into Sunday, here comes that tropical system heading towards the west coast of Florida beginning to send us some of that tropical moisture combined with our lingering front still over top the region. So another 60% chance for scattered showers and storms with highs right near 90 degrees. As far as how much rain we're expecting over the coming days with this system, you can see between now and Monday, we're projecting about one inch for most of us, but farther to the east, you can see that's where the darker colors are showing up. Some purples, that's two plus inches. And then as you get closer to the coast, you can see some of that red beginning to develop. We think some coastal locations could easily see three inches as that tropical moisture will likely confine itself closer to the coast, but we could still get our fair share here in the Midlands, which would help with those dry conditions. So we do need the rain. I don't think flooding is going to be a major concern, but still that could change and something we're going to be watching as that system does try to develop and head towards our way. So first alert weather day today, 97, just feeling extremely hot and humid this afternoon. Rain chances though going up for your Saturday, Sunday and Monday, dropping temperatures into the low 90s and upper 80s for Mondays with rain chances decreasing though for the middle and end of next week. We do see those temperatures rising again as we're back into the lower 90s. It is 624. Don't go away. More news and weather after the break.